Okay, motherfuckers, good morning. Hey, guys. So, it is a beautiful morning here. Let me show you the beach again. Hopefully, you can see it through the glass. Can you see that? Yes. It's fucking beautiful. Anyway. I'm jealous that you have a phone that has a good front-facing camera. <laughs> My front-facing camera is like three megapixels. Well, you need to get a new phone. <laughs> but anyway, so basically what this video... Basically, I want to talk about the fact that eBay doesn't give a fuck about sellers and I have a good reason not to give a fuck. Now, that is a little harsh. <laughs> But yeah, I don't completely agree with Mark here. I, but. So, I, so let me explain why. Let me kind of put things into context, right? So a lot of a lot of you guys who drop ship, a lot of people in DSG, and I've seen it in a lot of drop shipping groups. People say things like, "Oh, why eBay doesn't take care of its sellers? They make so much money from us." Blah 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 blah. That is not entirely true. That's actually mostly not fucking true. Yeah, they're doing the hard part. So. <laughs> The hard part in this whole e-commerce thing is finding the buyers, right? If any of you guys who try to run your own e-commerce store, you know the hard part is finding the buyers. eBay has done the hard part for us, right? And so, I mean, so let's say eBay has 10, eBay had only 10,000 sellers and a million buyers. And then one day eBay's like, fuck all of you. Let's get rid of 9,000 sellers. And the 1,000 sellers left still has the same things for sale that the 10,000 sellers had. eBay will make about the same amount of money. A little less for insertion fees, but the biggest fee is the, the sales fee. And, the, and if those 1,000 sellers are better than the, the other 9,000, they'll keep the buyers happier. So the actual, there's a lot more value in buyers as opposed to sellers. A lot of sellers yeah. think, but, but we can use that as our, our advantage, right? Once you go through eBay's bullshit and stay, stay alive, you'll make more money because sellers are just gonna fall off. Yeah, yeah, and once eBay sees that you're giving, you can be a good seller by giving a positive buyer experience, but really what it boils down to is the experience for the buyer. That's what keeps eBay going. Right. You know, so, it's not just that they just blatantly don't give a fuck about sellers, but they definitely, it's in their best interest to care more about the buyer's experience than the seller's experience. And, and a lot of, I've seen a lot of sellers and dropshippers complain, and they don't seem to get that. They just value the buyers more and they have good reason. eBay is about making money for the long term, and so should we be, right? And there's another thing that a lot of people don't think about. So eBay is competed with like Amazon, Walmart, all the big online, online retailers, right? And we are the sellers on eBay and we have to do the customer service. One thing that a lot of dropshippers may not think about is that when we dropship an item from Walmart, if these guys get the Walmart um, receipt, they're just going to fucking buy from Walmart next time. Yeah. So slowly, a lot of people that buy from us would just shop less on eBay. We're just educating them where to get a better deal and making money off of that education. <laughs> I hope Jack doesn't believe you. Quincy, you hear that shit? What's that? I hope Jack don't believe that shit. What's that? That we educating the buyers by, by shipping them stuff from Walmart. I, I do kind of have that mentality that I don't expect anybody to buy from me twice. I expect no repeat customers. I, Which is crazy. <laughs> I've had, we've had repeat customers and for a specific item in particular. Uh -huh. There was a metal, um, I talked about this in another video. There's a metal shelf. And the reason why it always stuck in my mind is because someone bought like 10 of them and then came back and bought 20 of them. Uh, and yeah. what I noticed is that Walmart was drop shipping that metal shelf from from the manufacturer. So when they got it, it's like we drop ship from Walmart, Walmart drop ship from the manufacturer. So they never got a Walmart receipt. Yeah, they yeah. never got an eBay receipt. Well, they got an eBay online receipt, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, but Walmart doesn't always send the invoices. That's true. Right. Because a lot of their items are drop shipped. Yeah. So I never even thought, I just got an idea. I never even thought about when we figure out there's an item drop ship from Walmart mm -hmm. to go straight to the manufacturer and see if we could drop ship. That might be interesting. Engage in traditional drop shipping. Yeah. Establish a relationship. What's that? Ah, because Walmart. Yeah. 
No, but those manufacturers ship directly to the customer. But okay, I, yeah. but if they have an agreement with Walmart for the amount of sales and yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anyway, so hopefully you guys understand where the fuck I'm coming from when I say eBay doesn't give a fuck about eBay, about sellers, and they shouldn't. Um, I mean, it's not, I mean, that's a little more eBay harsh. eBay than... cares more about the buyer than the seller. Okay, so and listen. it's in their best interest, too. Right. So hopefully you guys get it. And you, but look at it in light where once we please eBay, there are a lot of dropshippers are going to fall off and you're going to make more money. You know what I mean? Like, nothing fucking good is easy for fuck's sake like that's some basic ass shit anyway i need to i have to finish this video and upload like three more videos love you guys subscribe jack yeah. there's a link to jack channel in the description almost to 2000 so click over and subscribe and also they're like free training and free um fucking facebook group later